The face of Canadian families is changing. In a series of reports and in an upcoming documentary, City News is taking a look at non-traditional families, households that may not look like yours, but are striving to be seen and heard. In rural Ontario, inside this old church now converted into a home. This is not your average house. No, oh. it isn't. Um, it's an old church. It's uh, about 100 years old or so. We meet Aaron, Maggie, and Grace. They form what's known as a polyamorous triad, living together with the same level of commitment as a monogamous couple. Aaron and Meg has a relationship. Mags and I have a relationship. They Aaron have a relationship. I have a relationship. Mm -hmm. And then together, we all have like a relationship together. A so. power triangle. Families like this one are not new, but are striving to be counted. There's very little research available in terms of the numbers of polyamorous individuals in the country. Um, and in Canada, the fault for that lies with the fact that Statistics Canada doesn't collect data on that kind of a relationship when it conducts its annual census. John Paul Boyd QC is a Calgary-based attorney specializing in family law. He also did research on Canadians in polyamorous relationships a few years back. In the, the survey conducted by the Research Institute, uh, we found that uh, something on the order of 83% of respondents believe that the number of people who identify as polyamorous is increasing, and that the number of people who are openly living in a polyamorous relationship is also increasing. But families like this still battle stigmas. For one, polyamory is often mistaken as polygamy. In what we see on television, uh, such as Sister Wives and Big Love and in the trial of James Oler and Winston Blackmore, um, the kind of poly, uh, polygamy that we see being practiced there is firstly patriarchal um, and secondly it's religiously mandated. Polyamory is not. One of the key values of people who identify as polyamory is equality, regardless of, of gender and identity and regardless of parental status. Um, and uh, they're not mandated by God. In, in general, these are individuals who are uh, pursuing their heart. Like a lot of people assume it's like a fetish thing or a kink thing, and that's not why we're doing this. This triad who live openly say times are changing. It's getting easier. Like people are accept like starting to just like accept it. Like I'm I'm open. I'm I'm out with my family. I told them. But with another census just finished, families like them once again were not counted. That's a big reason this triad agreed to share their life with City News. They join others defying the norms in an upcoming documentary called Thoroughly Modern Families, hoping their stories will help open minds. I can love Aaron and I can love Megs. I love my mom. I love my cats. Like, the, the, it's just, it's love. It is just a different form of it. You know, and like, why do I have to limit myself? this way why do i have to only love one person as long as everyone's an adult and consenting love can't exactly be wrong. Mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. While that triad makes it look easy, polyamory does come with several challenges. And polyamory isn't the only lifestyle out there that is non-traditional. In this documentary, we'll also dive into other family models that look different than what most people are used to. You can watch the documentary Thoroughly Modern Families this Sunday, 9 p.m., only on City TV. Pat Taney, City News.